Hello everyone. So today we are going to start with the parameters on a data source. So for that, we have to connect with the, any relational database. So here we are connecting with Microsoft SQL Server. So here we have to give the server name. So before starting with the Microsoft SQL, let's see what is the database we have and what is the table structure we have. This is the Microsoft SQL Server. And once you connect, here we can see the database. So as we can see, this is having the system database. If we wanted to create our own database, right click here, click on the new database, give the database name. Okay, so here I'm giving sales DB, sales database, click on OK. So now we can see here we have created a database and inside this database we have to create the table. So here we are importing an Excel file which is having super stored data. In this super stored data we have ordered worksheet, people worksheet and the return worksheet. So this three worksheet we wanted to import inside the SQL server. So let's see how we can import this in a SQL Server. So right click here, task and here import the data. If you are bringing out the flat file as CSV or dot text files, then go with the flat file as we are bringing out from the Excel file, we will go with the import data. So here you need to select here Excel as a data source, browse the file path. So here we have the file path, it is in the Tableau repository, data source, and this location and this is the excel file we have okay and here if you click on first row has column name so it will automatically pick as a first row as a header click on the next and here select sql server provider and yes so this is the sql server name server name you have to give as we are bringing connecting with the Windows authentication, so let it be Windows authentications. And here you need to select the database, which database you are pulling the data. So as we are pulling here, sales DB. If you wanted to select here, let's say master table or some other database, so you can you can select from here. So as we are pulling this table into the sales DB, and then click on next. And now you need to select. Okay, copy the data. Yeah. So now here you need to select the tables you can preview the data okay and you can also see the mapping okay so mapping is also done okay you can preview the record this is people table we can preview the return table and we can also so this is for the order table, people table, and then the return table. Okay. Now here, once we selected the table names, click on the next, run immediately, and finish. Now we can see it's pulling the data, and it has brought the data into the all the three tables and these tables we can able to see inside this database table so let's say once you refresh the database you will get here the table names which we have just now imported from the excel file so let me just execute this top thousand rows and it is executed out here right so either i can bring the top thousand or i can just write it down select asterisk from this table so if you execute this you can able to see all the total number of records as we can see here total number of records okay so let's try to connect with the tableau so here we need to pass the server name so here we have the servers so this is the server name this we have to copy from here and 
the server name and if you are aware with the database name then give the database name and if you have connected with username and the password specify the username and the password as we are connected with the windows authentication so we will be connecting with the windows authentications click on the link sign in and now here we have order table so let me just bring it out order table here so we can able to see order table here so here we can write the custom sql we can preview the result so it's bringing entire data out here just click on ok let's go to seat number one okay. okay so it's bringing out entire data let's go to the seat one and here uh, if we filter it out we can see all the four region so what we wanted we wanted this to be dynamic whenever we are fetching the data so before bringing inside the tableau it should filter the data uh, in the database itself so for that we have to create the parameter and let me give here revision selection parameter and this is select as a string list add value from the region so here we have all the regions click on ok now here we have the parameter sorry here we have the parameter so what we want it should be dynamic as we are select sorry so it should be a dynamic as as per our selections it should filter it out but the thing which filter is doing here as we can see we have filter as well so this filter is filtering the data when data is coming inside the tableau what this filter will do this will filter the data in the database itself okay so the entire data it will not bring inside the tab so the first thing which we have to do it is we have to go back to the custom sql and here instead of bringing the entire data we have to write here where clause where region equals to central so let's bring this data now go back to the seat number one now we can only see here it's only bringing the central data right so what we wanted we wanted this to be dynamic where whatever the regions you will be selecting in a tableau dashboards or the tableau worksheet this data should be changed based on the selections so this selection should work on a database layer so this filter will work on the database layer so let's instead of central give this parameter name yeah. so when you are bringing out remove those single column let's say so this is central this is south this is east this is west yeah so this is how you can create a data source parameters so the data source parameter is good when we are bringing the data from the database and it will always filter the data in a database itself it will not bring the data inside the tableau and it will not increase the load in the tableau so that is how we can improve the performance and and that's it for the tableau data source parameter thank you everyone